Today we're gonna look at installing CentOS on VMware. We will choose custom setting. Hardware compatibility, we'll choose 6.5 to 7x. We go next. We can go ahead and have the default option. For guest operating system, we'll choose Linux and our version would be CentOS. next here we give the name to a virtual machine for management purposes we will put 32 bit okay we're going to use bridge networking go next and we will go next recommended settings and here we set our maximum disk size to be 60 gigs it should be sufficient and we're going to store this file as a single image at this point we can go ahead and customize our device our device settings and we can remove devices that um that are no longer used or are not needed in the installation like USB and so on All right here we choose the iOS the ISO file and we'll select the 32-bit version we can click close finish okay we're going to power on the virtual machine and once the virtual machine is powered on we're going to start with our installation Okay, so we go with the default setting, which is install or upgrade an existing system. Depend on the speed of your computer, it's going to take some time. Okay, we're going to skip that test. Right, and um, at this stage, what we'll do, select our default language or keyboard setting. Right, and for us that would be English, US, basic storage device. All right, we're going to name our machine. My machine, I choose to name it as teslab.loc, which means local, basically. We're going to go next. All right, so we're going to look for a time zone. Mine would be America slash Dominica. So let's just go through here. So it should be D. Let's see. Okay, right here. Gonna click next. And here we put uh, our root system password. Actually, we're gonna set the password. So make sure it's strong. Mine's is pretty weak, but um, for now I'll keep that. So this password will be used for accessing and administering the system. So go ahead and confirm it. That's okay. I'll use the weak password anyway. See that it's for, um, for testing. All right, so we're gonna select, create a custom layout. So we can um, go ahead and partition our disk. We're gonna set it up, set up three partitions. We're gonna set up first a standard partition and we're gonna name that, that partition will hold our boot files, 200 and 500 megabytes would be a good size. We create another partition. This is gonna be for swap, swap disk. And we're gonna put it as, a, as two gigs. Alright, once we have that created, 
can go ahead and create our or um our drive go ahead and click format that drive is where um your home directory and everything else would reside all right so we can go next from here and we're going to choose um basic server that way we could set up um, our Apache, SQL, and so on. So let's go next. All right, inst installation process started. And again, depending on your speed of your computer, your processor, the amount of memory and so on, it's going to take some time. My computer is pretty fast. It shouldn't take too long. So let's just work through the process. Okay. All right, installation complete. Let's reboot. And um, mark you that I had to pause and resume. Okay. is now starting up and once it's start up that is pretty much it it's going to prompt you to add your pa add to um, put in your password a username would be root and your password is whatever password that you, you set during the install and that's it I uh, hope you liked that video and um, be sure to subscribe because there's much more videos as such to come